everyone. I have another Thrifted Thursday project for you. This is a tablecloth that I picked up and it was like $3. It has a really cool fringe on it. And then this decorator print that I thought would make a, a neat lining. I'm gonna make a little clutch, a fold over clutch out of this. Like I said, it has this really cool fringe and I just thought that would add a nice front to a little bag. Also, I just picked this up from an Etsy shop and I'll see if I can find that Etsy shop and I'll link it down below, but it's a silk cord. It's just really cool. I love the colors. It just fits kind of my design. I, I just really have been having a lot of fun with it. So I want to add some of that to this bag as well. The first thing I want to do is cut a strip of this for the um, just it's going to be like a over the shoulder bag or, or actually probably a cross body bag. I think this is approximately 50 inches long. So I'm just going to cut two of these strips off here. I'll fold this over and I'm going to stitch this. And again, I'm leaving that fringe on because that's just going to be part of the bag. Now once that has been stitched, it, that, raw, that one side is a raw edge, and so I'm gonna take some of this silk and I'm just gonna zigzag that onto the one side of this bag, and that just kind of finishes off that edge. I'm just gonna lay that aside now. I cut the rest of this approximately, well, I think it's like 12 inches across by about 17 inches long, and then I cut the lining the same length, at 17 inches, but I did make that lining a little bit wider as you can see there. I am think I'm going to fold that over um, and to finish off the sides is again that one side of that uh, is is um, unfinished because I cut that strap off of there. I'm going to add a little zippered pouch to my lining. When I do these bags it's so I'm just I'm just going to say they're organic because everything is a little bit different when I when I thrift things I just kind of make it up as I go. Um, but I wanted to join that lining piece first, so that one that one edge is going to be finished off. So now I have a really long piece there. Um, just going to roll that. So this is that edge that's going to be on the inside, underneath the flap. And I'm going to stitch that and then I'm going to also add a little bit of that silk cord to the top of that just zigzag that on just finishes that off now it's on to adding my magnetic snap Now I'm going to add the snap to the bottom part of the uh, of the bag first and then I will add the top the, that fold over flap that that snap will come in a little bit later but I want to get this first one on Now I'm not going to go through both layers. I'm just going to go through the one layer on this and then just poke that through. And this has a, one of those little washers and then I'm just going to pound those prongs down with my little hammer. So that side of the snap is, is finished. Now on for making that little zippered pocket. When I do a magnetic snap purse, I do like to add a zippered pouch or pocket on the inside. I'm measuring this about an inch and a half down from the top of this butt about of this pocket and I'm doing this little triangle. It's about seven inches long this triangle and it's about oh three eighths of an inch wide. I'm just going to pin this pocket into place. I had to kind of fold that bag a couple times just to see where this pocket would be in the right spot. But I think I have it and now I was just take it into my sewing machine with a tiny, I, I, I reduce the length of my stitch and just go right onto that um, rectangle that I've, I've drawn out. And then once that is sewn, that little rectangle, I just take my sharp scissor and I cut right down the center of it. and then cut a little triangle into the corners, being careful not to cut my stitches at all.
and then just turning this so that it's to the back and then just going to be ironing so I, you can see this little this little rectangle really really good just kind of folding all that fabric to the back side and then pressing now at this point I'm just going to give myself a lot of grace because I have this is a pocket that's on the inside of a lining of a purse and so it's not perfect um, but it's a good way to practice putting these these little um, almost like a welt pocket and it's just an easy you know a good place to, to practice your zippers just pulling those corners out and again ironing where I need to and again reminding myself that this is not home ec class and it doesn't have to be perfect I zigzag the end of my zipper. I like to do that when I do these, these um, zippered pockets. And then put my double-sided tape on. This is zipper tape. It's like a quarter of an inch. This is the easiest way that I have found to put these little zippers in. That just is gonna stick right into place. It doesn't gum up your, sewing, your, your machine. And it washes out. So if any of that little tape shows, it'll wash out. So it's not that big a deal. Just pressing that into place with my fingers and off to my sewing machine I'll go. I have my zipper foot on and I, at this point my, my, I do lengthen my stitch. It's about, set at about a three and I'm going right down the center of my zipper foot. Everybody's zipper foot's a little bit different but this is gonna give me about a quarter of an inch away and I'm just going to go all the way around again forming a rectangle around this zipper and I'm making sure that I'm not um, going hitting my needle on something I shouldn't kind of being very careful right there just to get over those teeth this is a nylon um, zipper so I can just go right over those teeth And again, that zipper um, tape is holding it really well, so I can I don't have to use the pins. Just getting that pull out of the way, and then I can complete this other end. And that's it. That's always a nice relief to get that done. And then it's just a matter of folding this pocket up, and just. Um, doing the um, sewing across the top and the sides now i'm still kind of fiddling with this uh, my next step i believe is i'm going to just take this top fold it down i want that fringe to show so i'm just smoothing it out pressing this and then I'll take this to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch this this top edge And then it's I'm going to stick this other mag, mag um, part of my um, magnetic snap just marking where I need it I'm gonna go through both layers at this at right at this point I decided to add a little piece of fabric though just to get it some strength Yeah, I, I, I take that back. I just went through the lining on this and then just added that little piece of fabric on the back. I'm just going to pound, again, pound these little prongs down over that washer. And now I can stitch that top on. 
And I've got my one long strip now, but I still have to finish off the sides. So I'm just gonna fold this over and then cover that. And I'm gonna do this on both sides, just pin, and then I will um, stitch this into place. I'm gonna stitch those side seams next. I do go back and forth a couple times on that top part of that, because that's gonna be a stress point. Just trying to figure out how I'm gonna attach these um, straps. And then also wanna just add some more of this trim. So I'm just kind of just thinking and on what I'm gonna do with that. Uh, well, maybe I'll do a little, just like a little rosette type thing. So I'm just kind of, like I said, experimenting, twisting, just seeing what's going to work. attach the strap right over this side side seam and leave that fringe on it so it just kind of just kind of hangs off the edge and now I just decided I'm gonna just form like a little I have circle rosette whatever you want to call it I have a zigzag I'm, I'm zigzagging this and I have multicolored thread on just to kind of make it a little bit more funky um, and I'm just turning with my left hand there and just guiding that. So it zigs in one side and zags in the other. And just forming this circle. I've got my strap on right where I want it. And then I'm going to cover this over my snap so I'm, I made it bigger so I won't oh, I won't hit it with my needle and I'm gonna just attach that and then I'm, I'm thinking I'm just gonna go back and forth a little a few times with that um, that end of that silk cord you'll see me do it here I just went and turned it I didn't show stitching that little rosette down, but I just did a zigzag on that as well and just got that, like I said, over the top of that snap so I didn't hit that snap at all. And then just went and folded this end back a few times. Got it stuck there somehow, but I really wanted a little bit of that orange to show. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this, everybody. It went together really, really easy. And I like the lining. It's funky, but it just has some of the same colors in it. And it just worked well. Have a great week. Hope you have a chance to create. Bye for now.